please do come in and out of the rain I'm afraid you find London on a somewhat drizzly and overcast evening rather typical for British weather I'm afraid so it appears you're part of our elite clientele Let's see we operate normal opening hours during the day and for those very special customers who prefer a more personal experience a little more privacy we of course open in the evenings giving us the nickname of the midnight tailor shop so really it's just for people who prefer life at a slower sleepier pace away from all the hustle and the bustle of the city I've always found a new outfit measuring to be a rather personal experience one where you and your tailor work together to create art the perfect fit Let's see garments and material can be loosely and crudely strewn onto someone's body and horribly unflattering but when you find the perfect angle the perfect cut perfect shape and the size, well, they can bring out the absolute best in your appearance. So, what kind of outfit are we looking for this evening? Mm, okay. So, something uh, classy, but not like you're trying overly hard, not not too ambitious. Devil may care. But uh yes. Is this gonna be a a daytime outfit or a, an evening meal or perhaps a a midnight escapade? Want some variety, okay. Well, Versatility is my middle name. Actually, it's Matthew, but my clothes are quite versatile. <laughs> we will find you an outfit that can be any occasion, all occasion. A couple of changes, maybe a, a new coat, a new shirt, and there we go. Suddenly your casual day wear has become a lovely evening gown. Now, we of course have many measurements to take, which I will get to shortly, but um, a few more questions first, if you may. So, color palette. Let me have just a quick look at your skin tone. Mm. So you're a little more towards the olive end of the spectrum, not especially pale, so uh, muted pastel tones should look lovely. Maybe stay away from purples. Mm. Mm, some salmon pinks may also look rather flattering. Try a few things out, shall we? Yes, indeed, good. Okay, and uh, could you just show me your ears? Okay, so are we looking to uh, purchase some accompanying jewelry for the outfit? I can work with what's there. I like it. I like it. Uh, let me see. If you could just remove your uh, your hat for me, please. Thank you. Okay, lovely hat. Hmm. Alrighty. Look at your figure. Stand up straight like this. Very good. Hmm. Lovely figure. The uh, obviously the better the subject, the more room I have to do my job. And it much helps when they're in uh, flattering shape to start with. Though have been known to work magic. 
a quick sketch. Look this way. Oh, of course, eye color. How could I forget? Beautiful. Mm. One of those colors that almost everything goes with. Very nice. Lovely. Well, I think we'll start with the hat. No. The hat is, of course, optional. It's uh, one of those accessories that can be swapped out for different occasions. Can help transform an outfit into evening wear or lunch wear or um, going out in a rather horrible storm wear. <laughs> But in order for it to stick to your head and not blow off in the wind, we need a good fit. Now, look this way, please. I'm just going to be measuring from the left side of your temple to the right side of your temple. Mm -hmm. Just going to write that down. Just going to measure from these two points. This is known as your zygomatic arch. There we go. And now just from here to here. This is slightly inside your, uh, just forward from your temple. There we go. Very nice. With a lovely proportioned head. Mm. And now from your tragus, that's this little bit here to this tragus, the opposing one, there we go, try to just relax your draw if you could, good, doing very well so far, mm. straight down from your hairline here, to your television. Okay. Mm hmm. Alrighty. Just lastly, these two points here. Uh, while not essential for the fit. They do help me inform me of the best choices for uh, what style of hat. If your eyes are too wide, then we don't want to give you a bowler. No, it will just accentuate the, the broadness. There we go. Luckily, your eyes are not too wide. Okie doke, let's start with your circumference of your neck. Just like here. Going to be working in centimeters today. However, if you would like a copy of your measurements, they can be processed in any unit of measurement, though you will find most reputable tailors uh, prefer centimeters. And why would you need to see any other tailor when you already have the best right here? Just a neutral head position, please. Like this, shoulders relaxed. Very good. Okay. Now if you could just look to your left, over there. Alrighty. And if you could just look to your right, over here. Okay. Of course, you want some give in it. Don't want it to be too tight. However, we do want you to have a nice, beautiful, thin neck. All the rage right now. Lovely. Very good. Now I'm going to measure from here, this point, to this point on the tops of your shoulders. Okay. Okay. Just again relaxing your shoulders. Try not to hunch them up like this. 
Nobody likes people who slouch. There we go. Last one. The now, if you could just uh, relax your shoulders again and extend your arm out fully this way. I'm going to measure from this point here to the uh, edge of your cuff here. Alrighty. Good. Now, I'm out just from there all the way to here. Very good. 63, 63, 63. 63.7. The devil, as they say, is in the details. Uh, now, just the same on the other side, please. So, this arm out. quite symmetrical, but usually within a centimeter or two. 62.8. My eyesight isn't quite what it used to be. 62.7. Lovely, and now for your cuff. If you could just give me your hand, either will do first. Thank you. What lovely hands you have. Very well maintained nails. I'm just gonna pop this around your wrist. You want it to be snug, but not overly tight. I want a bit of uh, movement in there. Okay, just here. There we go, just relax the hand. Perfect, that is 29. It's actually more like 27, but of course, a little bit of uh, movement left in the hand is important. You don't want to be like this the whole evening. However, will you eat your food? Uh, the other hand, please. Just pass it here. There we go. Pop this round here. Twenty-eight point eight. Okay. 28.8. It's quite normal to have a slightly bigger rest on your dominant side. Now, uh, both arms up, please. I'm just going to measure around your chest region. We're going to take two measurements here. One relaxed and one with a full breath in. Of course, you don't want to be restricted in your breathing. Just there. Now, please try to relax. Fully relax. There we go. Just let out a big deep breath. Same again. This time I'd like you to take a big deep breath in and puff out your chest. Uh, pretty much as large as it'll go. Big deep breath. Good, there we go. Okay. Now we're just going to check the inside jacket. This is from your shoulder down to your waist. Then we're going to check your waist, don't worry. So far you have beautiful proportions. Now, we're just going to do this side first. Very good. Arms down by your side, just fully relaxed. Down to there. Good. Let's so say you have no perfect proportions. 
and you would be a tremendous oil painting or a beautiful model for artists. They're always looking for the latest and most beautiful among us. You know, something to consider then, I suppose. Just relaxing your arms. Yes. 15, same as the other one. And just before we do the waist, I'm going to measure from the center of the back of your neck uh, down to your tips of your shoulder blades. Just going to again come around the side. Okay. Just relaxing, looking straight ahead. Yet again, I need the monocle. I'm aware some tailors will round up to the nearest centimeter. However, I'm somewhat of a stickler for tradition, and I believe it's only in attention to detail one gets the best clothes. If we start cutting corners, then what's a small loss in quality here, small loss in quality there. Before you know it, you're wearing rags, and our forefathers who were tailors are turning in their graves. Same on this side. Okay. Yep. Mm, over to here. Good. His least favorite measurement, the waist. Uh, arms up, please. Now, what I'm about to say is important. Nobody ever listens to me when I ask them this. Please try not to suck in your belly. Just relax. It's all very well getting a good measurement here, but when you're wearing the item for five to seven hours, Believe me, you will be grateful for oxygen. <laughs> there we go. Besides, you have such a lovely figure anyway. No need to breathe in. Nothing to hide there. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Very good. How are you finding the relaxed atmosphere as opposed to normal daytime business hours? I find the clientele, I find it much more personal, much more relaxing. It can be a rather calming experience. And besides, it's nice to have a calm mind while recording precise measurements. Sometimes we can get distracted and well, one wrong measurement and there goes your suit. <laughs> no. It's going to do the width of your upper and lower back. Okay. Uh, arms by your side, please. Good. Lower back. There we go. Every tailor does every single one of these measurements. However, I find taking things like elbow to cuff, 
cuff to the end of the hand can really help iron out some of the kinks and get the fit nice and perfectly snug. Okay, so I'm just going to do your elbow to the cuff, please. So if you could just extend your arm out in front of you. Very nice. Just here. Good. Almost exactly half your arm. Storm sounds bad. I hope you've got a horse and cart that can get you home. If you wish we have beds in the back, you're more than welcome to stay till morning. They're very snug and cozy. All the rooms are of course private, you won't be sharing, don't worry. And we have a lovely kitten that lives here, if you wish for furry company. 32.8. Mm -hmm. Lastly, before we move on to your lower half, I'd just like to do your reach. This is from the tip of your hand all the way to the tip of this hand, stretched out from side to side. So, big long stretch. Arms fully extended. Very good. Lovely, you're doing very well so far. Now we're going to measure your legs and we're also going to measure your shoe size. Okay, so if you could just pop yourself down in that seat there. We'll do your shoe size first, so there. Shoes off please, you may keep your socks on. Pop your leg up here. Very good. Now I'm just gonna fit this to the top of your toes, down to your uh, the back of your foot. Just adjust the tape measure. Good. I think that's about the size. Possibly medium. Now for the width. Now allow, allow a couple of centimeters leeway for your comfort. Okay. I find new shoes take a good afternoon to fully settle in. Some walking around and stretching out the leather helps, of course. All of these will be custom made for your exact fit. Yes, nothing off the shelf here. And now the other foot, please. Just pop it up here. There we go. Down to there. Okay, so broadly the same as the first one. Mm -hmm. Now for the width. Good. Alrighty, if you could just stand up, now I'm going to measure your inside leg, okay? There we go, just stand there. I'm gonna just pop this here. I'll be as uh, quick as I can and uninvasive as possible. Down to here. Good. You have a lovely waist to leg ratio. Now the other leg. Just down to that one. Perfect. Right. 
how to work. This dawn appears to be easing up somewhat. Okay, I'm just going to come around this side, measure from the top of your hip down to the back of your ankle, okay? same on the other side. Just stand up straight in front of me, please. Right there. So I'm assuming 67.4, 67.4. I'll have that in blue. Yes. So let me look at your eyes again. You could just take a small step forward. I just want to see how your stride uh, pans out. And then just move back. Okay. So. If you could just give me a twirl. out in front of me. Don't think we'll have gloves with this. You have such beautiful hands, why hide them? Mm -hmm. What colour were the earrings again? Mm -hmm. I think that would suit a pastel pink perhaps. Or maybe silver. Mm. Well, I have all the information I think I need here. However, I'd like you to stick around so I can try out whatever I've created and see how it actually fits on your figure. You're more than welcome to come back. However, as I mentioned, there are beds in the back. So if you wanted to get a couple hours sleep, maybe sleep out over the storm, ride it out. Uh, maybe in the morning we could try on what I've created and see how well it fits on you. That way I can make any adjustments that are needed and we can get it perfect. Or you can come back whenever you feel like. You'd like to sleep? Okay, well, in which case allow me to go prepare the room for you. Maybe make you a chamomile tea. Uh, well, I can't wait to start working on this. It's been a pleasure to see you. I think we're going to create something absolutely beautiful for you. Now, let's go get you tucked in, and then I'll see you in the morning, okay? <laughs>